Welcome to the Bigraphy tutorial. We'll create a spiral tube structure using elliptical curves and pipes, exploring real-time generative design. The video demonstrates how to create intertwined, twisted circles from multiple ellipses, which resemble the pattern of a woven basket. We can modify the dimensions of our model by changing its parameters. First, we'll lay the groundwork by defining the parameters for our design. We'll use two range input nodes named radius 1 and radius 2 to control the dimensions of our ellipses. Now, let's bring in our first ellipse and connect the radius 1 and radius 2 nodes to its respective radii inputs. As you adjust the slider values, notice how the ellipse dynamically changes size on the canvas. Our next step involves creating planes perpendicular to the ellipse for alignment and reference. We'll achieve this using the perp planes node and adjust the count slider to generate a series of perpendicular planes along the ellipse. Create range input node will set the minimum to 10, the maximum to 20. We'll label this count. To manipulate these planes further, we'll use the deconstruct plane node. Connect the plane's output from the per planes node to the plane input of the deconstruct plane node. This will give us access to the origin and the x, y, and z coordinates of each plane. Drag in a construct plane node use these coordinates to construct new planes. It's time to generate our smaller ellipses. Place another ellipse node and connect the plane output from the construct plane node to the origin input of this ellipse. We'll again utilize the radius 1 and radius 2 nodes to control the dimensions of these ellipses. Play around with the slider values to see how the ellipses change in size. Now, we want to create a point on the first ellipse. Use the point on curve node and connect the curve output from the initial ellipse node to its curve input. Adjust the parameter slider value to position the point along the ellipse. Next, we need to determine the distance between this point and the origins of the planes. We'll use the distance two points node for this. To ensure the distance values fall within a desired range for scaling, we'll employ the remap numbers node. Use the bounds node to determine the minimum and maximum values of the obtained distance. Let's set the target min to one. Create range input node, set the minimum and maximum value and call it max. Connect it to target max. We'll now scale the smaller ellipses based on the remapped distance values. Introduce a scale node. Connect the curve output from the second ellipse node to the geometry input. Connect the number output from the remap numbers node to the factor input of scale. Observe how the smaller ellipses dynamically scale based on their distance from the point on the first ellipse. Next, we'll divide the scaled ellipses into segments using the divide by count node. Connect the curve output from the scale node to the curve input of divide by count. Adjust the count slider to control the number of segments created on each ellipse. To control the order in which the points are connected, we'll use the shift list node. Connect the points output from the divide by count node to the list input of shift list. To change the factor within the range of zero to one, we use the list sequence node. To connect a list sequence node with a graph tree node. The graph tree node takes a data structure and modifies its hierarchy by adding an additional branch layer to each item in the data tree. With the order of our points strategically adjusted, we use the NURBS curve node to create a smooth, flowing curve that weaves through these points. We further divide our NURBS curve into segments, using another divide by count node to establish control points along its path. 
This allows us to create a more intricate and detailed structure. To introduce a sense of symmetry and visual balance, we employ the flip tree node. This node cleverly reverses the order of elements within a list, effectively mirroring the orientation of our curve. Using these mirrored points, we generate a second NURBS curve, creating a symmetrical counterpart to our initial curve. This doubles the complexity of our design and introduces a captivating visual interplay between the two curves. Now comes the transformative moment where our design truly takes form. The pipe node takes our curves and gives them a tangible, three-dimensional presence by creating a solid tube along their paths. This transforms our design from a collection of curves to a solid, cohesive structure. The final touch involves enhancing the visual appeal of our spiral tube by applying material properties. The Apply Material node allows us to structure a realistic appearance by setting parameters such as color, metallicity, roughness, and opacity. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial helped. For more on computational design, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the notifications. See you in the next tutorial.